Today, I'm in the Wyman Museum. I'm going to do a video of Lou's 1929 Hart Par. There's a 1960 Jeep right there. That's a cool unit. And the 1929 Hart Par 2850. It's right here. This company was purchased by Oliver in 1929. Hart Par, Charles City, Iowa. Huh. And this one has the uh, street or parade wheels, whatever the heck they're called, or the rims. Very well built rims. We'll take care or take a look at this one over here. Well, there we go. There's the clamp thing. It's pretty cool when they built this. Looks like it was special made for this tractor. I'm not too familiar with these road wheels, but that looks like a good deal. And then We'll take some more views of this really cool tractor. It's a four-cylinder, two twins put together. These are the, this is the end of the crank here and right there. There's the fan and the uh, coolant plumbing. Coming back around uh, Magneto. We won't be starting this because I don't think Lou's ready to start it. He wants to do a couple more things to it before we start it up. I'll have to get with Lou about that. And these rear wheels don't have the parade uh, road pieces on. But Kerry's going to be working on that this winter. These blocks go around. I've never seen this before, but Lou said these guys go around the, around the wheel like this one that Kerry started on. They bolt to the wheel, secured down here with two bolts. Right in through the middle. Whoever did this wood work did a darn good job. All these pieces match the curve. Just perfect. I'll take a look at this thing from the back. Here's the seats sticking way the hell out here. Look at that. Steering wheel way over here on the right. I think I think they told me that the brake is way the heck over there. The brake. <laughs> Here's the shifter, two speed forward and one reverse. Right in there. Where it notches in. Looks like it's a probably a gasoline start, kerosene run unit. The engine. See, there's two cylinders similar to John Deere, only backwards. And there's the other two over here. They just put two engines together. See how. I think I said it's a 2850, but what I'd read on the internet was they did a test. Check out the rear, the drawbar horsepower, and it comes closer to 46, but I have to check on that for sure. And there's the carburetor.
steering gear. Uh, what a machine. What a machine.